What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. We are going to be breaking down a lot today, starting with the veto episode from last night, as well as what happened on the live feeds on Wednesday. And then we're also going to be breaking down the brand new alliance chart for this week. I did a whole redesign on it, as well as uh, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Uh, you wouldn't think much would change between one week and another, but a lot has changed uh, i'll try and put some timestamps at the bottom of when different things are happening so if you want to jump around in the video or come back and watch this later and see more information about it uh you can easily do that but yeah let's just start with getting into the episode uh we saw we ended last episode with uh frenchy and Brittany being nominated for eviction uh and uh, that kind of started Frenchie's scramble, right? We saw a lot of it uh, in the episode where he's running around uh, telling everybody, he's like, hey, did you hear about the Slaughterhouse? Did you know there's a Slaughterhouse Alliance? Hey, there's a Slaughterhouse Alliance, and you're not in it. And he's pretty much just running around telling everybody this like a madman. What we didn't see in the edit was he was also telling people about the French kiss. Ooh. The French kisses, and uh, look, everybody really was like, look, dude, we don't really care, <laughs> like, we really don't care about this, like, you're going to try and blow up a game, but nobody really cares, because um, at this point, everybody just was like, look, Frenchie's going to do his thing, he's going to scramble around, he's going to say whatever, just don't listen to him. Uh, we did get kind of the nice little scene of Alyssa in the uh, toilet paper all wrapped up uh, for her birthday, and it was happening on on her birthday when he was scrambling around doing this so when we were watching the feeds there were some of us getting kind of like hyped up like are we going to see a big blow up are we going to see a big blow up here is this going to be anybody want cake 2.0 and then it was kind of a disappointment we really didn't get anything that happened uh it was just people going oh frenchy being frenchy again uh so it really didn't lead anywhere uh really at all uh that then brings us to the veto competition itself um and it was a pretty interesting one um they had these big giant uh suntan lotion bottles that were shooting out suntan lotion uh, uh tanning oil and you had a grab a bucket and fill that bucket up then there was a tower that had a little floaty in it you had to pour the oil in there fill that up it was kind of a mix between like the slip and slide competitions but kind of racing around the grabbing stuff i, I really thought it was a, a, a really good competition a little bit of a twist on uh, again a classic bb competition and i like when they kind of take those and they just give them that little bit of that little bit of uniqueness uh to them uh so i really enjoyed this <laughs> some really nice falls uh from the contestants as they were falling down uh, really enjoyable competition uh claire kai Brittany, derek x Alyssa, and frenchy were your ones competing um Kai almost it looked like if you just didn't know anything about the feeds you just watched the episode it looked like Kai was going to win the veto there and then Derek X came in and he ends up winning his second veto in a row the veto king Derek X uh he is uh the one who comes away with the veto once again and uh before we get to the actual veto ceremony and how that went uh i do want to talk a little bit about uh a segment we saw between Hannah and brent and if you didn't watch the feeds you just watched the episodes you might see that one and you know hannah's kind of you know making fun of brent's accent and they're going back and forth and the erotic erotic erratic whole conversation right and you would think oh hey is there a little bit of a budding showmance here huh Maybe these two are going to, you know, end up in a little bit of a showman, a little bit of romance going on here. No, no. Uh, from Brent. Yes. Oh, yes. Brent definitely uh, thinks that Hannah is attractive, but Hannah has no interest at all. The, you don't want to know the real, the real thing that's been going on. Boom. Check out this picture right here. Uh, this is what's really going on is Hannah and Derek X. There's kind of a flirt man's going on with them. They joke around with the whole Brent thing as well. I, are they a showman's or I don't know if they're really a showman's yet, but there, there's definitely a flirt man's going on there. And Brent wishes, Brent wishes he was in on that. Uh, but he is not, um, you know what? It, it's, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as it, but it does give me a little bit of those beast mode cowboy uh, amber kind of vibes, right? It's not as bad. It's definitely not as bad as that situation. 
but just a little bit just a little bit yeah <laughs> so uh hopefully uh brent maybe like gets the clue and kind of backs off a little bit from there um and then that kind of brings us to the actual veto ceremony Derek x decides not to use the veto Brittany and frenchie stay up on the block and it's almost but a guarantee that frenchie will be leaving tonight on thursday um also, speaking of tonight, Thursday, our watch along right here on the channel. If you are new to the channel and you don't know about this, or if you're a new subscriber, you don't know about this. Every Thursday, live eviction, I stream right here on YouTube, and we kind of do a little watch along. You can hang out and chat. Uh, we get to talk about the episode, who some of your favorite players are, who you wish are, will be the new HOH, uh, kind of watch and see what happens in the HOH competition, what the vote ends up being. It's really a pretty good time, so if you are around, come on, hang out. We'll be able to watch the episode uh, together. Um, so yeah, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you get notifications as well. That kind of brings us, though, to the Wednesday live feed updates. If you don't want any live feed spoilers, you're just an episode watcher, now would be kind of the time to click off of this uh, because we will be getting into some of the stuff that's been happening that you're probably not going to see on the episode uh, until next week, uh, if really at all, because some of this stuff doesn't actually make the edit. Um, but there was some interesting things that happened uh some new alliances were formed some new deals were being formed um first off Brittany and Frenchie were kind of making their last you know minute pitches they don't really matter everybody kind of is pretty much locked in on Frenchie I expect he might get maybe like one two votes because there might be some hinky votes there but it, I could see it very well being unanimous as well just to send Frenchie home now Kai did a, a lot of uh, meetings with the different teams uh, today, and you can see from this picture here, he was getting tired of it. He was really kind of feeling uh, the the exhaustion from having these meetings and conversations over and over. Uh, but there were a few really interesting ones. Uh, so first off was the meeting that he had with the Aces, and the Aces have also gone and made this alliance with the Kings separately. That one is called the Radicals. Uh, here, they actually solidified and tried to make it a big alliance called the Mafia. And really, when I say alliance, this is more Brent trying to save himself in case he doesn't win HOH, but these alliances are really going to matter if he wins HOH because Brent is the target like everybody's going after Brent these alliances are just as real as the slaughterhouse is still real and it's not really that real uh but the one that is interesting is the one we kind of already knew about the kings and the queens so they've kind of come together and they decided that they're going to work together right to kind of get out uh the aces and when I say aces I mean Brent and Whitney uh and uh, they actually have solidified a name. It bounced around a little bit there. It was the royal family for a bit, but last night they ended up thinking they're going to call themselves the royal flush. Um, they've even given each other like little names, right? Because with the royal flush, you need a king, a queen, and an ace because the ace that they've added is Derek X. So they all have like little names like Queen Tiffany, uh, Sir Xavier, uh, and all these different little like royal names and nicknames that they've given themselves. Uh, so that is a really cool new alliance, probably the big power alliance besides like the cookout. But we'll get into all that a little bit later as we break down uh, the Alliance chart. A couple other things that happened, though, on live feeds, especially last night. Uh, there were two conversations going on at the same time. One was in the HOH room, and it was between Kai, Whitney, and Hannah. And Whitney and Hannah pretty much were saying to Kai, we want to work with you, and we want to work with Derek X after the teams are done, right? Like, we really want to kind of keep this going. Um... I just don't think Kai is really into that. He, he he likes Hannah, right? He likes Derek X. But Whitney is one of his top three people that he wants to see go. Kai, the next three that he would like to see go would be Brent, Whitney, and Brittany. He thinks Brittany is just good at the game, and he thinks he's kind of dangerous to kind of keep around. Uh, so those would be Kai's, like, top three people to go. 
So any kind of working relationship with Whitney, it's really just a facade, not really going to matter that much in the long run. Uh, meanwhile, at the exact same time as this conversation, Derek X and Brent were in the have not room kind of talking about what's going to happen with the HOH, the new alliances they formed with uh, the radicals and the mafia. And then they're calling uh, the whole thing the big cheese, right? This is all Brent, you know, trying to make uh, alliances for if he doesn't win HOH, which, by the way, it kind of seems like Derek and him are going to throw it. So if Derek's going to throw it, 100% Derek's going to throw it because he doesn't want to win HOH so they can put Brent up. But Brent, I think, is going to throw it to try and give it to Derek X or one of the girls. And he also told Derek that, you know, you have to make sure you beat out the other people. And Brent, good luck with that plan, buddy. Good luck with that plan. I don't know how that's going to go for you. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> because <laughs> if you don't win HOH, I have a very strong feeling that you will be leaving the house unless you win Vito or the wild card. Which, by the way, he can't compete in the wild card. So he needs the HOH or he needs the Vito. So I, I don't really know uh, what his plans are uh, with that too much. Uh, so we'll see how that actually ends up going. So the next thing I want to talk about is the new alliance chart. I have a brand new one, just redesigned it, just changed it up. A lot has changed uh, from the previous one uh, as far as the actual alliances themselves, as well as the design. Uh, so we're going to break all that down. Um, and without further ado, let's take a look. Bam, here it is, a brand new alliance chart, status chart of everything that's been going on. Uh, we're going to break it all down here. Uh, I will be posting this on uh, Twitter and Reddit uh, later on today. So if you want kind of the full picture and be able to kind of look at it and examine it closer, uh, you can do that. In fact, let's head on over to the full screen and uh, really kind of get a good look at everything that's going on here and kind of break down some of what you see on your screen here. So over in the top left there, we do have the teams, right? The Jokers, the Aces, the Kings, the Queens. That's always important to keep an eye on what's going on with that because uh, one house guest can only nominate people that aren't on their team, right? So their whole team is safe if they are the HOH. So it's always kind of good to have that in the back of your head of who's on which team. Uh, right next to that, that is the brand new Royal Flush Alliance. Uh, they went through a couple little name changes. They were the Royal Family. Now they're the Royal Flush. Because what do you need for a Royal Flush? An ace, a king, and a queen. And that's what they have. They have an ace in Derek X. They have the queens and the kings. Uh, so they are the Royal Flush. They even have little nicknames for themselves. Like there's Queen Tiffany and Sir Xavier and stuff like that. Um, right underneath them though too. Because here's the thing. At some point, Tiffany wants to go after Christian and Alyssa. She doesn't trust Christian. Uh, so at some point, she's going to want to target them. I do have the Faisal right underneath them. Uh, they don't really have a name, but they are really tight, the five of them. Um, so I could see them kind of forming and solidifying their own little faction uh, as well. We also still have the Cooka uh, right next to the Royal Flush there. Uh, the King Slayers, I've kind of changed that name up uh, from the Sirens the last time I posted this on Reddit. A lot of people were saying, no, they're, they're the King Slayers. And I had heard that name, but the Sirens was their original name. I think they're going with the King Slayers now for that foursome. We still have the Jackpot Alliance. Uh, I've added final twos. Uh, so the smaller ones there, those are ones that I don't think really matter that much. And the ones on the top row, the bigger ones, those are the ones that I think are more solidified, right? So you have uh, Kai and Sarah Beth, Tiffany and Claire, uh, Alyssa and Christian, who are pretty much a showmance now at this point, even if they're not officially a showmance. Their showmance underneath you got you know Frenchie and Derek F which probably isn't even going to be a thing after this week uh then you have uh, Derek F and Kai Derek F and Xavier and then there's also Xavier and Kai that one could be real but I think overall Kai would be more loyal to Sarah Beth in the long run so that's why I have it smaller uh we also have Alyssa and Hannah they have kind of a final two deal but again, I think that Alyssa would be more loyal to Christian now at this point. So that's why I have that one as a smaller one there. I do also have the flirt mance there of Xavier and Hannah. And uh, it's the flirt man that Bre uh, Brent wishes, right? <laughs> he wishes he was a part of that. And then right above me here, we have the fake alliances. These are the ones that really aren't a thing, but they are a thing, right? They have names, the slaughterhouse. 
it's not really a thing. Nobody really cares about it really much anymore. Then you have the radicals, right? The kings and the aces. Uh, it only matters if Brent actually wins HOH. Then it's like, okay, wait, let's go back and look at the radicals here. Who is Brent not going to nominate, right? And then you have right underneath them, the mafia. Same deal. If Brent wins HOH, okay, sure, we have to worry about this. Same thing, maybe if Whitney does too. But even Whitney, I think, wants to get rid of Brent in the long run. Maybe she wouldn't put him up because of the whole you know, team thing, well, she actually can't put him up because of the whole team thing, what am I saying, uh, so yeah, it really only matters if Brent wins HOH, because uh, I don't think Whitney even wants to win HOH necessarily this week either, we also have, you know, the block over there with Frenchie and Brittany, uh, HOH Kai, the wildcard winner, uh, Sarah Beth, the veto winner, um, Derek X, and then I also added uh, the grayed out picture of Travis as well, and we'll keep a tally of who's on there, I have a feeling that we're going to be adding Frenchie all grayed out next to Travis as well, and then we'll have a spot for the jewelry too, uh, once that starts up later in the season, uh, but yeah, that is the brand new alliance chart, what do you guys think, what are some of your favorite alliances that you see up here, um, are there any that you think I'm leaving out that maybe I should be including on here, uh, and as always, expect the unexpected and i will see you next time